Hi guys, Aming Tawid here from SmartPinoyInvestor.com and in this video, we did discuss natin yung order matching algorithm ni Philippine Stock Exchange. So, ito yung mga rules and mga steps na ginagawa ng stock exchange when it comes to matching yung buy and sell orders of every market player that we have in the market. So, in my last video, I explained the basic rules that is being used by Philippine Stock Exchange when it comes to order matching. So, para makita natin how these rules play out in the market, I'm now logged into my trading account AAA Equities. And may kita natin yung buy and sell orders of any stock or of any company dito sa quote section. So, you can type or you can search for any company. For example, here I have currently dito on my screen. And dito no, sa depth by price, you will see the quantity and splits and the price ng bid offer. And then yung selling offer or yung asking price, meron din siyang price dito. And you have the quantity or volume or number of shares and you have the splits. So if you're not familiar yet with the splits, uh, basically uh, you can imagine this as the number of orders or the number of clients that are accumulated in this total quantity. So yung quantity na nakikita natin dito is total number of shares na may ganitong bid price and yung split is yung number of clients or number of orders. Alright, so itong mga orders na to could come from all market participants. Uh, whether retail clients or pwede ding mga institutional clients. And may kita natin yung breakdown ng splits na to here under depth by order. So dahil market is open now, nag a update siya no, depende sa matching. And again, yung matching when the market is open happens at the best possible price for every order na ipopost. So in this case, meron tayong bid na 6.82. And merong nagbebenta ng 6.83. So walang matching na nangyayari because they do not agree with their prices. So until may gustong magbenta at 6.83, magmamatch itong bid na to. Or if may gustong bumili at 6.84, magmamatch itong selling na ito. So ganun lang yung mangyayari. Hanggat walang nag agree sa prices, so walang matching na mangyayari. And dito naman sa time and sale, so may kita mo yung mga most recent transactions. So the time now is 12.38. So again, ang ating market hours for today since meron tayong pandemic is market is open from 9.30am up to 12.45pm. So yung 12.45pm, papasok na tayo sa pre-close kung saan tatanggap si Philippine Stock Exchange ng buy and sell orders to calculate yung ating stock's closing price. And then after 5 minutes at 12.50pm, then the market enters the runoff or trading at last. So at this time, meron na tayong closing price and all orders have to be matched at that last price or at that closing price. Kahit maglagay ka pa ng mas malaking buy or mas maliit na selling price, hindi na yun magmamatch. Because nandun na tayo sa runoff or trading at last. So again, trading at last. All trading happens at the last price. And then after 10 minutes at 1 p.m., then the market is now closed. So the time now is 12.40 p.m. So we still have 5 minutes before the market uh, opens the pre-close period. So may kita naman natin yung status no, ng ating market dito sa taas. Meron dyan open and the exact time 12.40. Because the market is still open, so every stock ay uh, continuous pa rin yung kanyang buying and selling. And dito meron tayo sa taas na ticker. Uh, may kita natin dito yung mga most recent transactions also. And again, itong depth by order only gives us a breakdown of the splits here. So for example, um, we have 200,924 uh, 24 splits and total volume is 200,900. So may kita natin yun dito. No? So at bid price 6.83 So now nag ng 26 um, lagpas siya actually dito So 1 to 20 uh, You have 26 Hindi mo na makikita dito Because we only have maximum of uh, 20 rows here Pero if titignan natin itong 6.84 So meron siyang 4 or 3 orders na Which is ito 1, 2 O oh, yan, so 4 na ulit 1, 2, 3, 4 And then 6.85 You have 22 orders Ayan, so ma-occupy niya yung buong uh, column mo 
And then kulang pa siya because we are only able to display yung kanyang 20 rows. Alright, so meron ka rin dito may kitang parang naka-highlight siya. No? So meron siyang parang line. So mapapansin mo, naka-highlight yung may pinakamalaking volume. So in this case, 6.84, ang volume niya is 359,200. And siya yung pinakamataas dito. So you can imagine yung mga highlighted figures as parang wall or harang if you are a buyer or seller. For example, ang harang dito or ang pinakamalaking volume is at 6.84,359,200 shares. So ibig sabihin, if you are trying to sell at a higher price, mauna muna itong 6.84. So medyo matatagalan pa dahil marami pa siyang kailangang i-fulfill before makapagbenta ka at 6.85 or any other higher price. Similarly, dito naman sa debt by order, so naka-highlight itong 200,000 shares at 6.82. So that means if you are a buyer, uh, kailangan either mas mataas ang ipost mo para mauna ka or kung mas mababa sa 6.82 ang ipapost mo, medyo matatagalan ka kasi meron kang 159,300 shares na kailangan makabili muna tapos meron pang mga susunod yan. So, ang total ngayon is 221,000. So, pag tinotal mo yan lahat, uh, we have 15 splits now, or 16 na ngayon. So, ito yon 6.82. And ang total ng shares na to, ng total quantity, is this one, 225,100. So, yun lang yung dynamics ng uh, order during market open. And now, so, meron na lang tayong uh, 45 seconds before we reach the pre-close. So, titingnan natin kung ano mangyayari during the exact pre-close. So, ang i-expect natin is uh, magkakaroon ka ng parang temporary halting of trading. So, mag-accept lang siya ng buy and sell orders. And then at this point, pwede kang mag-enter ng mas mataas na bid price kung gusto mong makauna. And mas mababang offer price, mas mababang selling price kung gusto mong mauna sa queue. And gagamitin yung data na yun, pati yung reference price natin or yung last price, to compute yung final or closing price ng ating stock. So, let's just wait for it na para makita natin. So, currently, meron tayong 6.82 and 6.83. So, mamaya makikita natin yan, mag -ano yan, magiging exaggerated yan. Dahil yung iba gustong mauna. So, now it's 12.45. So, pre-close na tayo and therefore, we can say exaggerated price. So, halimbawa, ito, ang last price mo is 6.83. Pero may nag-offer na at 6.77. So, hindi naman ito magmamatch kagad. Papansin mo, may mga selling orders na mas mababa at your last trading price. So, ang ating last trading price is 6.83. Pero meron kang 6.77, 78, 79, 80, 81. Right? 82, 83, 84. So, again, yung pinakamababa, siya yung mauna. No? Pero at this point, uh, we still need to calculate yung closing price before mag-resume yung ating trading. So, let's wait for uh, 12.50. By 12.50, uh, we would have our closing price for this stock. Alright, and then, dito naman sa selling, pansin mo rin, meron ding nagbebenta or may gusto namang bumili at 6.84. So, tingnan natin yung ibang stock, no? kasi ito hindi masyadong pronounce. Uh, pronounce lang siya at offer. Ayan, so may nagpumasok na rin at 6.84. But let's look at other stocks. Ayan. So dito naman sa Converge, mas makikita mo yung difference, no? Ang last price ni Converge or last traded price is 14.78. Pero may nagsisell ng 13.32. And may gustong bumili ng uh, mas sobrang layo, no? 15 pesos. So yung final closing price nito is in between these two figures. Alright, tingnan mo natin to si Jollibee. So, si Jollibee, ganun din. Ang last price niya is 170 Pero may gustong, may nagpe-place ng 150 And may gustong bumili ng 221 So, ito yung common na question ng mga newbies. Um, bakit ang last price ni Jollibee is 170 Pero may gustong magbenta ng 150 May gustong bumili ng 221 Pero hindi siya nagbamatch. Bakit ganun? Well, dalawa lang yung reason nun. So, either the market is in its pre-open or second is it is in its pre-closed phase. All orders na nakalagay dito ay gagamitin lang to compute the closing price. And then, based on that closing price, so, doon na mangyayari yung matching. Alright? 
So let's just wait uh, two more minutes. So same with BPI, uh, you have last price na 72.9 but you have offer price much lower 65.6 .6, and the uh, bid price much higher at 94.75. So that only means itong mga naglagay ng 94.75 uh, with 32,910 shares. So gusto nitong makabili talaga. At ito namang mga nagbebenta at mas mababa uh, 65.65. Ito naman yung mga gustong makapagbenta talaga today. All right? So, wait lang tayo before natin makita yung final closing price. So, punta na lang tayo kay Jollibee dahil mas pronounced doon. Ayan, so meron tayong selling na 146 and bid price na 221. Ang last price is 170. So, again, depende sa mga orders mo na pinasok during market pre-close yung ating magiging closing price. So, we have last 15 seconds. And um, ang magiging status niya na ngayon yan is uh, trading at last or market run off na tinatawag. Ayan, so 12.50 and let's see kung ano yung na-compute na uh, last price. Papansin mo sobrang fluctuate na yung volume and value nung ating market. Ayan, so meron na dito announcement, market close, trading at last begins. So, if we refresh this screen, ayan, so medyo may delay lang, no? Pero nakita natin, ang last price na ngayon ni Jollibee is 170. So, yung mga nag-post ng selling order na mas mababa at 170 and at exact level na 170, nag-match yun. So, lahat ng nagbenta at 170 and below, nag-match yun. And then, lahat naman ng nag-post ng bid order na mas mataas sa 170, uh, nakabili din yun. And then, may gusto pang bumili at 170 na 25,330 shares. Pero nakulangan ka na ng uh, nagbebenta. Kaya may naiwan pa dito na gustong bumili. Alright? So, yun yung advantage ng pag-place ng mas mataas na bid price or mas mababang offer price during market pre-open and during market pre-close because that gives you an advantage or priority in the order queue by the time na makompute na yung opening price and yung closing price. So, hindi mo kailangan maglagay ng sakto. You just have to be careful na gagawin mo yun during market pre-open and during market pre-close. Otherwise, mag-execute ka prematurely kapag nilagay mo siya during market open or during continuous trading. Ngayon, kung gusto mong makapagbenta at 170, you can still place an order, a selling order at 170. At kung gusto mo pa rin makabili at 170, so pipila ka lang din dito. No? So yun yung, yun yung benefit ng placing exaggerated prices during market pre-open and market pre-close. So in the last 10 minutes ng ating trading at last, so all market orders na magmamatch ay only possible at that last price which is 170 for Jollibee. So, if magbibili tayo, for example, ng mas mataas, hindi yan tatanggapin. So, let's try it, no? So, bili tayo ng Jollibee. Uh, try lang natin. So, limit. Ang last price is 170. So, let's order uh, 170.2. Alright? And then, 10 shares. Or say, 20. So, hindi niya tatanggapin yan. Buy at 170.2. Confirm order. Ayan. So, meron tayo ditong order. Ah, meron tayo ditong message, no? So, buy JFC rejected. So, order price is not equal to closing price. So, again, during trading at last or market runoff, dapat yung order na ilalagay mo ay yung last price ng stock. Otherwise, ire-reject yun ng system. Okay? And here, may kita natin dito sa taas. So, meron kang status na TAL, which means trading at last. So, by this time, you can either put a buy and sell order using the stock's last price or you can just leave. No, wala ka naman na kasing magagawa. You can also check your portfolio, magkano yung kinita mo. But um, when it comes to matching, that's it. So, after ma-determine yung closing price, then that's the end of the story of that stock for that trading day. And, and you just wait for the next trading day to begin again. Alright, so it's now 
3 minutes before closing. So, antayin lang natin siya no, before mag-close para makita lang natin yung status. And now, since it's past 1pm, so ang status ngayon ng ating market is market close. So, today is Friday. So, ang next um, trading day ngayon ng ating market is on Monday. Dahil wala naman tayong uh, market open during weekends. Alright? So yun lang guys yung basic idea and concept when it comes to order matching ni Philippine Stock Exchange. And I hope makatulong ito sa inyong mga trading strategies lalo na if you are an active trader. And if meron kayong question no, dun sa na-discuss natin, so pwede nyong ilagay yun sa ating comment section below and I'll try to answer it. And if you like this video, then do please leave a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you get updated for every new lesson, for every new video that I'm gonna share with you guys. So thank you guys for watching and see you in our next video. God bless us all. Bye!